Right, we're on the filleting missions with the brother Kiri. Kiri Flowers. He's, he's attacking the tamiri. Look at him, he's getting stuck into it. Beauty. I'm attacking the haku. And we should have a bin full of fresh, beautiful fillets at the end of this session. Sultan. Mm. Yeah, you don't need too much brown sugar, eh? Just a little bit. Big wings on them, eh? Mm. It's in oh, there, okay, bro. smoking. Beautiful. Woo. That's what it's supposed to do. I'll go and make some more chips because I think we're going to need some more halfway through. Here we go. Round two. Look at this. She's hot. <laughs> Juicy, eh? Get the ladder so we can get up and pick some of these nice ripe plums. Oh. Okay, bro. Cheers, brother. They're not super ripe yet. Still tasty. Mmm. Beautiful dessert. Beautiful dessert after our beautiful mane, which was kingy, smoked kingy belly flaps. So this is the brother Kerry's personal, beautiful personal little orchard. How many years you been working on this one, my bro? Um, probably about eight and a half. Eight and a half years. Yep. We bought the place nine years ago, and the first trees went in in the winter. And you planted these? Yeah. So, so what happened with these is. These are all planted from, these are root suckers. Root suckers. This is a root sucker from the from the plum tree. Mm. And so when we bought this place, um, I dug up a whole lot of these from my mother-in-law's orchard. Mm. And I planted them straight in the ground here. Cut them off and then grafted onto them. So I grafted these, these, these we've got three varieties here. I grafted these varieties onto them and they've just grown. So I didn't buy any of these trees, I just produced them from what, we had. from what we had. And how old would you say these ones are? Um, so this one here will be eight and a half years old. Beauty. They are sort of all different ages because they haven't all been planted at the same time. Like some died and then we had another go the next year and then another go. It's, it's like building, you know, you just put a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. Mm. Now I've got over 50 plum trees. Bloody beautiful. And when will they be, um, they're just coming on now, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah, so these are the first variety. This is Dan's Early. Mm -hmm. It's the first variety, red flesh plum. And then, so this is just coming on now. Beautiful. And then I've got another variety called Duff's Early Jewels. They come on in about another two weeks. Yeah. And then there's another variety called Louisa, and that comes on middle to the end of January. Thanks, brother Kerry. No worries. Cheers. Great white loves a bit of salt water. We'll give it a wash when we get back to town. <laughs> right on, we're sitting in the G dub. We're going with, right on, we're sitting in the G dub with the brother Kerry Flowers. And he's gonna share with us 
uh, one of his most memorable shark encounters. Where you go, brother Kerry? <laughs> hey, you, you, I'll hold it. Yeah. Lean. Oh, I covered half of it up. Yeah, so um, I guess my most memorable, well, one of my most memorable, I was spearfishing on Lee Reef, which is by Auckland, well known place for a lot of sharks. And uh, it was about this time of year, um, so just before Christmas sort of thing. And I wanted wanted to take a haku, so I came down, the school came in, I picked one and I shot it. Yeah. And it didn't do much, and so I started pulling it in and the shark came in under me. As I was pulling this, this haku in. And I got up to the, got the haku up to, I was holding the spear with it on the end of it. And it hadn't really done much. Where but the shark? shark the shark was right under me like and it was getting a bit too close for my comfort. What kind of shark was it? It would have been a bronze whaler. Oh yeah. Was it yep. dirty or was it clean? No, it was water. pretty you know, the water was pretty good, it was wasn't too bad. Yeah. Anyway, it was right under me, so I grabbed the, the spear gun because the spear was still in the kingfish and I, I just sort of prodded it off me because it was coming like really, really close. Yeah. And uh yeah, then like because there was a whole lot of fish around us as well yep. and when I prodded it it took off and everything went nuts like everything all the other fish and everything they all just went mental like just yeah they all took off and the kingfish that I was holding on the spear took off as well because it hadn't really fought yeah yeah and uh <laughs> it went down as well and then yeah so you're still holding on to the the, the shooting line yeah or? I was still holding on to the shooting line yeah and then the shark just come in and smashed the kingfish got my kingfish oh, ripped the no. flopper off my spear oh. and then I couldn't even I couldn't even shoot another fish because I didn't have another <laughs> flopper on my spear or anything so I had to go home empty handed so you called it a day I called it a day yeah but yeah that was probably probably the most memorable one. and you know like I wasn't scared of the shark or anything it was more just it was just getting a bit too close to me for me to be comfortable you know and I didn't want to I didn't want it sort of trying to trying to take my fish because I knew that's what it was after. I didn't want it trying to take my fish off me while it was in my hands, you know, and end up getting bitten from collateral damage, if you know what I mean. Yeah. This way, bro, sorry. Oh. Sorry. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Kerry. No Thanks, worries. brother, for sharing that with us. How was that? Check that out, Fano. That is the man's waka. The white lady. Beautiful. Ready for that um, Three Kings mission. Okay. Yeah. So that was there. Yep. That was all rusty. Just cut it out, make a new patch, put it in. So you did you bend that up and make it? Yeah, that? I made all of that, yep. Whoa. There you go, Fano. Bet you didn't know that about the brother Kerry Flowers. Bit of a master with the mechanics and he's rebuild, rebuilding. What kind of car is this, my bro? It's a 280ZX Datsun. 280ZX Datsun. And what's your vision with it? What kind of motor do you want to put in it? Oh, I'm not sure on the motor yet, but I want about 400 horsepower and uh, I want it to just be a tidy street car. Wow, good. That is cool. And then we'll drop this one off. Just raised up the nose. And we're gonna have to reset the headlights too. Oh, true. Oh, here's the man. We're gonna have to reset our headlights. But she's gonna get a bit more clearance now. Hey, gee, duh. Before. Use that to push the resin in. Wow. So you just crank that and it just squeezes it into the holes. Yeah. It's just going to heat it a little bit and it'll just help it fill in the cracks. Wow. Now it's gone. What? That is unreal. Here's your raft up. Well, thanks very much, Brother Kerry. No worries. For all of your awesome help with the Great White. Ha <laughs> ha!
Ready for a few more Ks. Few more missions. Ready for a few more missions. See you on the road.